Hey my loved ones, it is Chanel and today I am coming at you guys with the YouTube tag. I was not inspired by anybody to do this tag but I wanted to do this tag personally for my own preference and for you guys to get to know a little bit more about me and my kind of YouTube story or whatever you want to call it. So that is what I want to do today. I was inspired to do this tag by Ladybug Tuition. I watch, watch her all the time and she does awesome reviews and hauls on elf products, makeup tutorials, and I absolutely love her. So um, like I said, I wasn't tagged by nobody. I just want to do this on my own. So let's get right on to this tag. Stay tuned. First, I want to say the people that you meet here on YouTube. It is a lot of wonderful, wonderful people here on YouTube. And it's just so unbelievable. From all over the world, you meet all these different people. And that is just so great. By you communicating with them through your videos, texting them on the phone, um, talking to them on the phone. I just love a lot of people here on YouTube. If I was to name names, this video would be about an hour. But those people know who they are. I absolutely love every single person that I chat with, comment with, and all those sorts of things here on YouTube. And another thing I love the most about YouTube is that you can learn almost anything in the world here on YouTube. If you type in how to shave the back of my dog, they will have a video about that. Every single thing you could type in on YouTube will pop up and you can learn anything on YouTube from recipes, hair tutorials, makeup tutorials, and the list goes on and on. So YouTube is just like one of the best things that you could learn from and I absolutely love YouTube for the people and all the different things that you can learn. YouTube is always having maintenance problems for some dang on reason. I don't know why. Some days you can upload videos, some days you can't. I also hate that you cannot choose and customize your own thumbnail because half of the thumbnails you be like this. And then that's your thumbnail. Who wants to watch a video and your thumbnail is like that? Nobody. But it would be awesome if they will let everybody customize their own thumbnail. I think they are working on that right now. But they need to hurry up because that is like really crucial to some people's videos is the thumbnail. So I think YouTube needs to kind of fix that. Um, but who really, really inspired me was Cross80. K-R-A-W-L-S-80. I think that's her name and she was a, a woman of my skin complexion and she did a lot of bright makeup tutorials and her looks was always so beautiful but I haven't seen her on here lately but I am subscribed to her and I wish she would come back because she her looks was just beautiful. Um, I will leave her link down below but she like I said she haven't done videos in a long long time so I hope she comes back but she really did inspire me because we were like the same type of complexion and I like to wear bright colors and I don't know if you guys like bright colors but I do a lot of looks that I do on YouTube are not something that I will wear on an everyday basis but it is different and I do want to show uh, you guys or a woman of my complexion how to rock bright colors without looking like a damn fool because a lot of women of my complexion they feel like they're too dark to wear colors but some of the looks be bright as hell and I can be honest about that that I would not wear outside but when I do the tutorial and when I apply it on I think it looks really good maybe if I had an outfit that color I will wear it out but most of the time I do wear bright eyeshadow looks on my days off. But when I go to work, I rock the neutral eye. And th I, that's like rocking a neutral eye every day. So I really get tired of rocking neutral eyes. And maybe I would do a series of wearable looks. But I like to step outside the box and do something different from everybody else here on YouTube. So that is who inspired me to do videos was Cross80. 
shit. Yes, I have. What I wanted to achieve, I wanted to um, put my um, my cosmetic line out there, which I have done. Um, I have achieved it, and I'm very happy, and I am very successful in my little bitty makeup company. Hopefully, it would have spam more. I know I need to update my website, and that costs money, but I will. I did everything myself, and I am... I pat myself on the back for doing what I wanted to do and achieving it as far as me coming up with my cosmetic line, selling it, um, sending people stuff to help me promote, which I thank all the divas here on YouTube that helps me promote my cosmetic line, like Diva on the Dime 384, Tamika Ann's, Tamara Shea, uh, I Bleed Purple Funk, Rug Rat, all those beautiful women. So, yes, I have achieved what I want to achieve on YouTube. YouTube should let you use whatever type of music you want to use without uh, punishing you by not being able to monetize it because it kind of promotes other people's songs and it kind of helps out. But I kind of understand about the copyright thing, but sometimes when you upload a video and you using royalty free music they still won't let you monetize it it doesn't matter how much information you put in the description box or if you you leave the artist the website the link it still won't let you monetize the video so i really think they need to change that and i see that they are working on that but i feel like you should use whatever you want to use as your background music on youtube do you guys all know I do bright ass makeup looks um, like this one I have on today and this one was inspired by these beautiful earrings by the wonderful Andrea and these are from Develiciously Hot's website I will leave the link down below so um, I like to do makeup tutorials I do hauls I do wig reviews this wig I have on um, I forgot the name of it but yeah, I like to do wear reviews. Outfit of the days. Um, and I guess I'm going to start doing tag videos as well. But I like to do all types of different things on YouTube. If I could come up with it, then I'm going to put it on YouTube. So yeah, but my main objective here on YouTube is definitely makeup tutorials. Right now, I'm almost at 5,000. And I am pretty pleased with as many subscribers as I have, especially since it's only been a year. Um, but if I can have more subscribers, then of course, I would love to have more subscribers. But I am satisfied with the 5,000 that I have. And I absolutely love every single last one of them. Um, that's why I do all the giveaways that I do, because I send a, a little bit of everybody something. So, yeah, if I could have more subscribers, of course, definitely. I would love to have more subscribers. Right now, I am subscribed to, I think, like 600 people. But I subscribe to people all the time. Um, I like to subscribe to people that does makeup tutorials. Because I like to watch a lot of makeup tutorials. If I didn't have YouTube, what would I do? The same thing I do with having YouTube. I would live life, go to work every day, pay my damn bills, take care of my family. What else would you do? YouTube is not my life. This is not my job. I have a regular ass job. If I could just do YouTube all day and get a fat check that pays as much as my job, then I would definitely just do YouTube. But, of course, I work like everybody else. Um, I haven't really had any hate on YouTube besides, like, people leaving dumb-ass comments. But I would just either block them or just ignore them. But other than that, I really don't have hate on YouTube, and I plan on keeping it that way. But you always get a couple of people that's going to dislike your video, that's going to leave some messed up ass comment. But to me, it don't matter because I'm still going to be me and I'm still going to do me. So it don't matter if you like me or you don't. 
do i have a lot of friends on youtube yes i do i have a lot of friends a lot of close friends and um i love them all so yes i do have a lot of friends here on youtube i would have to say have a decent camera and decent lighting because the camera means everything and the lighting means everything. Like if you are beginning out and doing makeup tutorials, you will definitely need a good camera so we can see what you are doing and how you are doing it. And of course the lighting. I use natural light. Um, I really don't record videos at nighttime, but I do have like two lamps. But like I told you guys before, I plan on moving and I plan on like making one whole room my makeup area. But I haven't done that yet. So I do plan on getting like the umbrella lights and um, I might upgrade to a better camera. I do like my camera right now. It does record in HD. I do not upload my um, videos in HD. I leave it at the lowest, the lowest pixels. Um... I think 720 it's not even 720 it's like medium because like on um on iMovie you could upload through a mobile device medium 720 1030 and something else but I know you get medium you get the mobile medium large 720 and 1080 I upload my videos in medium and you see how good they come out but the higher the resolution, the longer it takes to upload. So I really don't upload my videos in 1080. I really don't do that because it takes freaking forever. So um, I do plan on getting a better camera. I don't know when, but I right now I'm using the JVC Everio camera. It is very affordable. Um, I think I paid like three something for it at Best Buy. And stuff is falling. Is there a ghost in here? But yeah, my best advice is to have a decent camera and decent. Are you a partner? Yes, I am a partner. And I think everybody on YouTube who can monetize a video is a partner now. But I am a partner. I did receive an email. But the only thing I don't like is I guess like the new partnership. You cannot customize your thumbnails. You cannot um, add a banner to your channel. You can't put the, your little logo next to your videos on the top next to the subscribe button. So it's like what's the whole point of being partner if you really can't if you really don't have no advantage. And you don't because I still can't customize my thumbnail and I almost have 5,000 subscribers and I see a lot of people with a thousand subscribers or um, 800 subscribers and they're customizing their thumbnails. So I think um, being a partner is really not a big of a deal because anybody can monetize their videos. I've been monetizing my videos since I've been making YouTube videos. So anybody could uh, monetize their video. So like I said, it's really not an advantage of being a partner. Well, not for me because I can't customize my thumbnail, can't add a banner. So yeah, but I am a partner. And I did get an email saying I am in the partner program. But like I said, um, it's the same as just being a YouTube person making a YouTube video. That's it. My favorite type of videos is, of course, makeup tutorials. I like to wear, watch hair tutorials as well, but my favorite, my number one, is makeup tutorials. Like I said in the previous question, I really do like makeup tutorials, and that's what I like to watch. I especially love to watch makeup tutorials with somebody of my same complexion. So that is my YouTube tag. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.